Arn, you made the switch, you know, you, you were in shipping, uh, then you made, uh, made it to the 3PL side, and then 13 years ago, obviously, with Electrolux on the shipper side. Uh, you've, done, you've done what a lot of people in the 3PL uh, and ship, shipping lines uh, dream of doing, right? Move to the client side. Any advice for those guys trying to do the, the same? Well, I think I have a... Uh... So my advice is, is is network, network, and network, right? If, if that's really what you want to do, then you've got to network. Uh, I, I was, uh, I, I actually made it to, 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 to the buy side or the dock side or whatever you want to call it, uh, by pure serendipity. And that, that's a story that, that I can't really tell, but it was a serendipitous uh, moment and you should never discount serendipity in, in, in finding your next job, right? Uh, but of course, I wouldn't have gotten on the radar screen of, of Electrolux if I didn't somehow pop up on on, on, on somebody's uh, radar, yeah. or somebody's radar, right? Uh, and if I didn't have the right skills and a, a bit of a personal brand, which which uh, which I had and have, uh, so spend time on building your personal brand. All right. Uh, be careful about how you build it, uh, but be visible and, of course, working in the industry. It tends to be then when people switch over from shipping lines of three PLs to to, to, the, to the buy side, it tends to be because they worked with, with with specific clients and those clients have liked what they see. So if you're lucky enough to, to, to work with a, a big MNC and you want to switch, make sure that, that, that A, that you make that known uh, and B, that that, that, that that you do work for them that, that brings you onto their radar. Yeah. Right? I'll also say, and this is absolutely not the first time that I've been asked this question. In fact, it may be the 600th time. Or that <laughs> I can imagine it's you usually get asked the question by people who want to make that switch. Right? <laughs> uh, that, uh, and sometimes also be careful what you wish for because you may get it, right? Uh, I have, I know people who've made the switch who, who, uh, who ultimately moved back after a year uh, into the 3PL side. I can think of two or three people are right off the top of my head. Um, and that has a lot to do with, you know, when we talked about very early in, in, in this uh, podcast, um, what a humbling experience it was for me to move over on, on the other side, right? You need to accept if you move over on the other side that it's not just about being given a, a bully pulpit with which to now hammer the, the, the three PLs and do to them what what they did to you and and all that sort of stuff. That tends to be what's on people's minds, right? You have to make the effort to learn, really learn. Uh, very often, you have to make the effort to almost totally re-educate yourself, right? And accept that that you're not at the top of the food chain for a while, over on the other side, right? So look inward very closely before you decide to make the switch. Say, am I willing to do that, or is that just not something that I can do at this stage, right? Mm -hmm. The grass is not greener over on this side. It's just a different type of grass, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and uh, and and better be prepared for changing diet as mm. it were, right? <laughs> great. Uh, I mean, that's a great analogy yeah. when you move over, right? Yeah. Yeah.